When I think of the redwoods in Yosemite, I think of the beauty, the peace, and the quiet. Most of the people go to the valley and they miss out on Wawona. If you want waterfalls and being in the valley, the Yosemite Valley on a Saturday night with 45,000 people, that's the place you wanna go. But if you wanna experience the community of Yosemite, you come back up to Wawona. Wawona surprised me, and I think it surprises a lot of people because the individual histories are what makes Wawona what it is. In the end, that's what Wawona's about. More about the people in the community than the natural wonders. There's no place like Wawona. It's a small community with so much to offer. I, I can't describe how much a part of him this place is. Wawona is my home away from homes, boy, I'll tell you. Our story goes way back, Sharon and myself. Uh, we have been coming up for, for over 50 years to Wawona and to Yosemite, and it started out when we were wee little girls, and we've been coming here ever since. Our parents ended up buying a lot, building a cabin, and now we're on the fourth generation. My earliest experience was going and staying in my parents' cabin, which was a one bedroom, one bath cabin then I can certainly remember going up there as a, as a kid with my father and working on it and improving it. And uh, I enjoyed that. I've always enjoyed mountain property. Up. And you know, the Wawona area is a very special place in the mountains. I love the trees and the mountains about it because that's my favorite thing. I like to listen to the wind in the trees. One of the things that I really enjoyed and, and meant a lot to me is bringing my mom and dad up here. And, and as they got older and older, and I took my dad up on Sentinel Dome when he was 85, and, and he just loved it. And my mom too, both of them. And they loved coming up here. It creates those memories in another layer. It just adds to that layer of life, and it's all right here. To me, Yosemite is home. It's been that way for the last almost 12 years. Uh, it's, a, it's a place where people can really find themselves. Um, it's where I found myself. I've never felt that anywhere else, that sense of home and, and belonging and community the way I did in Yosemite. So people, fundamental human nature is not made for us to be in a big congested place. We're made to get out. I think that's just part of our nature to get out and enjoy the freedom of, of living and be able to enjoy the sunset, the morning, uh, the wildlife. I mean, it's an emotional thing. It makes you uh, really feel good. There are so many gems so few people know about. Chilnawalna Falls or Swinging Bridge. The slower you are, the more you'll see. And it's a gorgeous place. Lucky to live here. I can't overemphasize, however, the fact that being in this location, somewhat remote, the Redwoods is just amazing. We have had amazing family get-togethers. Uh, memories like that are just cherished, and certainly we look forward to having many, many more. I can't believe I work here. I'm just going to work, coming up and watching those trees, it's beautiful, seeing the sun come through. It's like being in a picture of photo that's, and it's amazing. And so imagine experiencing that every day. I've traveled to probably about 15, 20 national parks throughout the country and internationally as well. This is by far my favorite. To me, it's just so decompressing. Everything goes away. Life just slows down. It, it feels good. It feels like your body's getting a full reset. Your brain can kind of just relax. You have no service, so you're disconnected. You don't have to worry about emails floating in or people calling you. 
It's just you, the park, the people, and who you're experiencing it with. And that's why I love, you know, the Redwoods in Yosemite so much. It's just a different place and truly a home away from home. My hope for the future of the Redwoods would be to continue on being more successful than they are now, providing an area for people to enjoy with their families, uh, their friends, and let everyone that's been up here go away with a great feeling that they're glad they were able to come here. That's my hope for the Redwoods in the future.